and welcome here to more Talking FCB and welcome back to the channel guys and in today's video we are going to be discussing in full Ronald Koeman's press conference ahead of Cadiz versus Barcelona coming this weekend and I have to say big big words in response to those that we've heard from the outside from Neymar Jr on Messi's future and also some words from the inside from Carlos Tusquets. Koeman not happy about the words that are being said but he did have some nice words for Griezmann, for Dembele, and for Martin Braithwaite. It's all coming up in today's video. Let's get to it. Because if I first of all bring you up to speed on the entire Carlos Tusquets Messi situation yesterday, you may or may not have seen that there was a radio interview done by Tusquets, who, remember, is the president of the management committee that's currently in charge of just overseeing things at Barcelona. And that's the point here. This guy is not the president. He has not been elected. He is simply there to wait until the new president comes in. The only job he had to do was basically call elections and he didn't even do that properly but yesterday he thought it would be a good idea to do a radio interview no idea why no idea why you need to do that he then came out and said the following he said economically speaking I would have sold Messi in the summer window both in terms of what you save on the wage bill as well as the money you make it would have been desirable but this is something the coaching staff had to consent to and that is not my place I tell you what None of it is your place. None of it whatsoever. You can give your opinion fine, but you're connected with the club right now. You are supposed to be overseeing things. You can't come out and say that. Messi is a player at the club. He is still a player at the club. And you're actively saying here you would have liked to have sold him. Just a ridiculous comment there. So, so unnecessary. And I have no idea why he thought that was a good idea. Just so, so stupid. And Ronald Koeman too was not happy. I think he was really really frustrated. Obviously, he can only say so much, but I think certainly in the words from Neymar, of course, he spoke about that on the channel yesterday, and now these words from Tusquets, it was very much so an unwelcome distraction. On Tusquets, Kuman said, it's just a personal opinion from him. He said, I do respect all opinions, but he said, this is not necessary. He said, because Messi has a contract until the summer, and from then, he will decide his future, and he said straight away, I don't want to talk about this particular interview. Of course, though, Kuman was pressed on the words from Neymar and Tusquets and he was asked there whether those two speaking there about Messi's future are complicating things at the club right now. Koeman said, we know the situation with Leo. He said he's the only one who will decide his future. He said nobody else. He said all of these comments on the outside are not relevant. He did say though, this is something the club needs to talk about inside. He said not outside. He said it's not good for us just before a game. And like I say, he was definitely frustrated. He was asked a bit more, though, about Neymar's words and indeed the fact that Neymar wants to play with Messi this season. And he was asked there a question by the journalist, do you feel as though Neymar was talking about playing with Messi in Paris? Or was he talking about playing with Messi in Barcelona? Ronald Koeman there with a bit of a cheeky answer. He said, as a club, we always want the best players to be here. And that's all he said. Before he was then asked in the very next question, a quick, quick follow-up, the journalist asked, do you really want to have Messi and Neymar together here at the club? Koeman said, I don't like to talk about individual players, but as I said before, as a coach, as a player, as a cooler, you want to have the best players in the world at this club. But when it comes, of course, to the game tomorrow and when it comes to the La Liga title race, Koeman was asked there about the potential rivals Barcelona could have in that race for the league. He said Atletico are looking very, very strong. He said they've started the season really well. They're scoring and not really conceding many goals either. But he said, as I said before, it's a long season. A lot of things can happen. He said we should have more points. We know that we drop points unnecessarily. But he said, as I said before the game against Osasuna, I feel as though now we need to win all our games until the end of this year. Kuma was then asked a follow-up to that answer. He was asked basically that if Barcelona were to lose in the league before the end of the year, is it over then? If you're saying that you need to win every single game, if you don't, is that the end of the La Liga title? Kuma though, responded, he said this is a hypothetical situation that we don't even think about. He said you can talk about why, what if, he said, but we always try to think in a positive way. If this was to happen, we would look to respond, but we're not thinking about dropping points. And for me, that's the mentality we have to have 
We need to go on a run. The journalists love to talk about the transfer window, so Koeman was once again asked about January, whether or not he would be interested in signing a centre-back, despite the options that he now may have available to him. He said it's too soon to speak about the transfer window. He said Araujo is back now. He is going to be ready to play. He said Antiti is recovering really, really well. He said, so we need to wait and see what will happen. And we will also have a new president, of course, where we'll need to speak to see what will be possible. When he was asked further, though, about Sam Wadamtiti, whether he would return in time for this game. He said Umtiti soon will be declared fit. He said he's fine. He's not having any discomfort, which is great news. He said we're not exactly sure exactly when he'll return, but it seems very, very soon that he'll be back and ready to play. Kuma was then asked a number of questions about the improved attack at Barcelona over the past few games, and of course that coincides with the inclusion of Martin Braithwaite in that number nine role. Kuma there, speaking about Braithwaite's influence once again, and some positive words for him. He said the forward line has changed, he said there's been some good positive changes, and he said Martin is our number nine. He said he has the pace, he has the positional awareness, he knows where to be, and he said as a result, the other forwards behind him can take advantage of that space and that's thanks to Martin's work he's really helping the team. Koeman was also asked there what he felt the reason was behind Griezmann's improved form of late. Does he feel as though it's because of Braithwaite being in the team that Griezmann has started to thrive? He said Griezmann is a great player. He said he can play with anybody. He said the positive change is not only because of Braithwaite, but also there because of Griezmann's improved confidence. He said anybody can have a difficult time at a new club, but he's working so hard. He's always trying to change things on the field, off the field there, in the training ground. He said that is the mentality that we need. Finally, though, Kuma was asked about Usman Dimbele, somebody who performed at an exceptional level against Ferenc Varos in the Champions League in midweek, about what he's done since the start of the season to really improve his form. And Kuma said since the very start of the season with me, he said he's improved so much in his physical state. And he said any player needs to be in perfect condition to really thrive. He said he has more confidence now. He said he's really happy as well. The fact that he's staying fit, that makes him really really happy and he said I'm happy too with the performances that he's put in lately. And so that there, guys, was the words from Ronald Koeman ahead of Cadiz tomorrow. I have to say, much of that press conference there dominated by things outside of this game. When it comes to Messi's future, there are always going to be question marks. But like I say, that interview there, it was so unnecessary from Carlos Tusquets. And I would even go as far to say, it was unprofessional. He should not have said those words. And Koeman, clearly hitting back, and to Neymar too, although he does say that at this club, we want the very best players. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. What do you make here from Koeman's words ahead of this game? Of course, I'll see you later on over on the main channel, the match preview, and everything building up to this one. It's coming up for you, and I thank you indeed for tuning in to it all. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching, but until next time, as always, Vizca! El Barça. Oh.